Tetra Pak's mission is to make food safe and available everywhere, and Pedro Gonsalves, their vice president of marketing in the U.S. and Canada, stopped by the booth to share with Amanda how they have developed lighter, more sustainable packaging using materials that limit the need for preservatives, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Let's create the future of food service together. Welcome to Nation's Restaurant News. I'm Amanda Venencia, and I'm here with Pedro Gonzalez, who is the Vice President of Marketing for Tetra Pak US and Canada. Exactly, and thank you for having me here, Amanda. We are so excited to learn more about your company. Tell us a little bit about Tetra Pak. Well, Tetra Pak is a company that actually has been present in the industry for a long time, and we are mainly known by the package, but we do much more than that. We also have equipment for cheese, for ice cream, and many other applications in the industry. So we are very present in that. Pedro, let me take a look at this yeah. amazing packaging you have Thank here. You. Well, it's a great one. It's made mainly from sustainable materials, renewable materials, and also it's recyclable. So it's quite sustainable. It's super, super good. And this cap is, ba is made from plant-based polymers from sugarcane. Wow. That's yes. incredible. Yes, yes. Well, tell us a little bit more about the product um, and the packaging and what kind of efficiencies that people are looking at, especially coming out of those last two years that we're trying to forget, but have impacted the industry. Yes, it did impact big time. And I believe everyone is feeling right now the problems with trucks, sea freight, and so on. Any optimization you can get on those help the industry because, I mean, most of them fight for cents in the product costs and the more you can squeeze in more packages and use less trucks and more sp and less specialized trucks the better. I know that trucking issue is killing yeah. our supply chain so being able to utilize this product and it, it's going to be lighter as well. Yeah it's lighter and also has a long shelf life like some products can make 12 months on this and can be really good because like if you get schools for instance you have like a delivery to ice three times a week you can make one time a week with uh, with this technology, which is the aseptic technology. Yeah. And also, the way it was developed, it doesn't need to take any preservatives inside. Mm -hmm. So if you get products like cream, cooking cream, mm -hmm. uh, you're always gonna get a great taste out of it. So it's really good. And we definitely are seeing more of a need for these openable packaging, especially, this is an easy open container. Yeah, it is. This, this cap actually was, design like took us some years to design even like putting cameras inside the mouth to, <laughs> to see how it flows you know and like just producing this neck was a tremendous effort in terms of technology but we have other other uh openings especially for food service that can work a lot when you have to pour uh without any spill and also it's a lot safer right open some sort of other packages you might have cuts and so on right oh oh right and and i've shared this with you pedro but i'm going to show you the up close version you that see? is you, that is a number 30 see, can you, right there you need one of those you i know you know what no more cans <laughs> safety lighter more items on a truck this seems like a just no-brainer for folks across yes and also we have another problem now which is energy costs right mm -hmm. and then like a shelf stable is getting a lot of uh, a lot of importance because you can save those costs and also there are other ingredients that makes more sense for you to have fresh like meat right and you can save those fridges to work with meat and other ingredients and now now the liquids the other ingredients you can store in your pantry which will make much better Absolutely. I, as an operator, I am going for, for, from one of our fridges from a 10 by 10 to a 15 by 15. And I can tell you right now, if it's a shelf stable product, it is so much easier to get that into our warehouse. And especially sure. if it's shelf stable and it can, how can I say, stack it and take less space, right? Oh my gosh, stack yeah. it? Absolutely. <laughs> because any space that you can save to have one more table, it's better, right? In the real estate. Or you don't want to get the leaning tower of boxes waiting for someone to <laughs> drop it, right? <laughs> uh, on a head. Yeah. But, so tell us about e-commerce. Um, what do you see that affect, how do you see that affecting the industry and specifically Tetra Pak? Well, e-commerce in food has been an interesting journey because before 2019, very few people in the food industry talked about e-commerce. It was like a more opportunistic, but then we had the pandemic. It grew like 58% and then 15% after that. And everyone now is doing e-commerce and especially for the smaller companies, the startups has been the way to go to the market, that you can make your product available for a large number of, uh, of consumers with less cost to do it mm -hmm. until you get the awareness. And for the 
food service industry, there was a lot of a delivery going on already, but th then it spiked, right? It mm -hmm. went like to another level. And uh, you had to get like people that sometimes are not so trained mm -hmm. to deliver. And then you had like a lot of spillage. We have like a lot of things, right? <laughs> With open cups. And then I see more and more people trying to deliver like a red to drink packet products that don't create this, cow this type of accident. So mm -hmm. I believe solutions like this mm. uh, can really help overall uh, the delivery system by e-commerce and so on. And e-commerce will be a fundamental part. I mean, it's impossible today not to have a strategy not be in e-commerce. Amazing. So uh, financially, it seems like a win. In terms of safety, it's a win. And in terms of sustainability. Oh yeah, that's why we're so proud about it. And we want more people to get it. That's why we have our mission. Make, we commit to making food safe and available everywhere. <laughs> I love that, Pedro. That's fantastic. <laughs> Tell everybody how they can find more information about Tetra Pak. Oh, you can always find us at the internet at tetrapak.com. Drop us a line and we'll be contacting you pretty fast. So that's Tetra Pak, T-E-T-R-A-P-A-K. P-A-K, without a C, yes. <laughs> so, so make sure you spell that right. Pedro, thank you so much for joining thanks, us Amanda. today. And we are here with Nation's Restaurant News and Tetra Pak, creating the future of food service together. <laughs>